Uh, what I have here is a Motorola Photon and uh, the biggest problem, actually the only problem I've been having with it is that it doesn't do Wi-Fi in infrastructure mode which means like other Android tablets or phones can't connect to it when you tether. However, I was looking on xdadevelopers.com and I found out you can actually do uh, infrastructure Wi-Fi. But you, you do have to have a uh, rooted rooted phone. And you can see here, this one is actually rooted already. Congratulations, you have root access. Uh, but what you need to install is, you need to install this uh, data enabler. Data, en it's a, just a widget, data enabler uh, widget. And you have to install the Android Wi-Fi tether, which is at this URL. And uh, I'll post a link also into the comments so you can click on it and copy and paste it. But once you have that installed, it shows up in your in your uh, uh, in your apps down here. This is the Wi-Fi tether right here, the yellow one. You got to start it up. And once you have it started up, you got to go into the settings. And you got to change a couple things. And this first one, you have to tell it that you have a Google Nexus One even though you really don't you just tell it you do and uh, that's in the device uh, profile then the change setup method you have to change this to say net D master and then down a little bit down a little bit here you want to uh, check the MMS clamping uh, checkbox there once you have those three things installed then don't start it up yet you need to do is you need to go back out here to your uh, your data enabler and turn it off. Let in what you'll see the 3G will turn off. Well, maybe it won't because I guess I just have my Wi-Fi on. Anyway, once you have once you have that turned off, then you can come back in, restart the Wi-Fi tether, and it should start up. If it's the first time you're starting it, it'll prompt you for root access and whatnot, but I've already started it just to make sure that it is actually going to work. All right, now it says it's active. Tethering Hotspot's active. All right, so now you can see it's uh, running. And the uh, hotspot name I have is, the SSID is uh, Android Kahuna. I just put that in there a little bit ago. Okay, so back over here on this Kindle, it it is connected to my home network right now, and we'll change it over to connect to the uh, Android Kahuna, and it's just open. So yeah, go ahead. All right, attempting and connected. Oh, and this just buzzed too. You see, it says it connected. Yeah, where is it? Somewhere in here. There it is. Wi-Fi tether, AC disabled, whatever AC means. I don't know. But anyway, now uh, we got the access point running. We're connected to it. But what we have to do still is we have to turn this access back on. Now that come on, recognize me. There we go. You have to turn it back on after you enable the Wi-Fi. Once you turn on the Wi-Fi tethering, then you can turn this back on. It'll probably air a couple times. At least it did for me last time. But it, it will still work. It just airs. Let's see if it, does, if it connects. Well, maybe it'll connect. I'm waiting for there it is. There the icon just turned blue. Okay, so now though now it should get access. So if I come back over here, actually I should probably connect to this after it's uh darn it. Get off that. Save it. Alright, well, let's see if it works. Go to the web. And we'll go to um, 
deny, whatever that is. Uh, we'll go to slash dot slash dot. Actually, we'll just see if the Google search works. Yeah, look at that. It has the X up there. I'm not sure why. Probably because it didn't have internet access when it connected the first time. But you can see it's actually searching for stuff on on uh, Google. And so anyway, what it does is, like I said, most of the time, these Motorola Photons don't let you do infrastructure mode. If you download the, uh, if you just download this original wireless tether that everybody seems to use, like the green one there, wireless tether, then it doesn't, it can't get the infrastructure mode for whatever reason, I don't know, but an iPad can connect to the ad hoc network that it provides, but, a, but another Android phone or a, uh, yeah, an Android phone or an Android tablet can't, but with the infrastructure mode, it can. So the uh, all the steps I got came off the uh, off of the XDA developer website. But there's basically what it here's the website that I'm looking at. It says download the data enabler, set up the Wi-Fi tether as Nexus One, and there's the other settings it's suggested. Uh, and this talks about shutting off the 3G, which you have to do. Start tethering, and once it's up, enable 4G. Well, in my case, I don't have 4G here, so I'm just enabling my 3G, and it seems to work. So, anyway, and uh, I'll provide a link to this page, too, in the uh, comments. Thanks.